I do enjoy what I do on this channel, but it can't always be fun and games. Sometimes I'll have a subscriber ask me to cover a certain video or a certain person, and I can't let my fans down, right? That's why today we're talking to this tosser. Hello there, hello there, hello there, YouTubes. All right then, Kev, I notice you, um, you didn't want to clean yourself up before, before coming online. Now, I've been asked in, frankly, a rather snidey way uh, to talk about or to give my opinions about the supposedly Black Lives Matter kidnapping. Now, it's not a Black Lives Matter kidnapping at all. No, you're right about that, Kev. I know that. It's just when you hear people shout, fuck white people, my mind just automatically goes to Black Lives Matter. I don't know why. Must be all the racial hatred. But for those who don't know, what happened, uh, I think it was last night, certainly late last night here in Britain, um, the in Chicago, in Americana land. Oh, come on, Kev, it ain't that hard. Two lads and two girls kidnapped a kid who later turned out to be special needs and fucking tortured him for two days while streaming parts of it live on Facebook. Moving on. Racists out there, people who don't like black people, basically. I would have hoped, Kevin, that this whole ordeal would have shown you that racism isn't just hating black people. It's hating anyone because of their race. That's why we don't call it blackism, or some shit like that. Shit though, give it time and some feminist somewhere will use blackism as a branch of racism. And when they do, they owe me a dollar. I've been saying, oh, well, what have you got to say about this thing, Kev? What have you got to say about this? Is it, what, what am I supposed to say to that? Like, oh yeah, well, clearly all black people are fucking scum. That's clearly the case. I'm gonna save that clip. Maybe I'll use it again in a couple of years when Kevin has finally finished decorating the wall behind him. No, like... Four, I think it's four, uh, black people did a fucking evil thing and they deserve to be prosecuted, as they are being um, at the moment, and locked up. But then, did you hear that? That noise. Why do people do that? That fucking annoys me, that does. I mean, if you're going to be making videos, you have to at least have a bit of discipline about it, don't you? I'm not saying you should be speaking in RP, Kev, but at least control your saliva and don't make fucking glopping sounds on camera. But the, the, what does that mean about anything else what's the wider implication of that exactly are you suggesting that all black people are like this whoa kev you have just turned a racially motivated attack into something that everyone else is being racist about H how did you do that it used to be just these four kids were racist but now everyone is H H how did you do that because if so you can then say well all white people are like dylan roof all christians are like dylan roof all christians are like fucking um, Anders Brevik. Yes, yes, judging everyone by individual actions. We get it, you fat bearded bellend. Three examples might have been too much, but then you don't look like a guy who understands moderation. And as usual, the fucking all the racist pricks have come out of the woodwork. Yeah, yeah, this whole kidnapping opened up a portal to the racist realm, and now they're just spilling through into our world. And they've ne they've got it, they're calling it, as the title of this is uh, suggesting. Um, the hashtag BLM kidnapping. Now, there's nothing to tie these people to Black Lives Matter. There is plenty tying them to gangs, though. No, I, I think I could make a coherent argument that BLM is a gang. They have the cash flow, the intimidation tactics, the actual violence and destruction of property. Yeah, no, that, that wouldn't be hard. In fact, I think I just did it. For those who haven't seen the actual footage of this taking place, and I wouldn't advise... I wouldn't advise you to go and do it. It's very, very harrowing, fucked up material, right? And yeah, I do prefer that to watching your chins wobble from side to side. Yeah, they, at several points, they start talking, they, they, they talk about this, I can't remember the exact phrase they use, but it's, it's, it's the name of a Chicago gang, right? They're clearly gang-related, violent bastards. Thing is, Kev, I could talk about the Cray twins, but that wouldn't mean I do anything gang-related. Maybe that's your inherent racism playing up there, thinking they mentioned the name of a gang and they're black, so they must have ties to that gang. It couldn't be that they hate white people, could it? No, of course not, because that would be racism and you can't be racist towards white people, can you? Which means that, well, I mean, why would you expect me to comment on that? Why would you expect the news to necessarily comment on that? Gang-related violence, unfortunately, is pretty rife in America, it seems. Well, so is black-on-white racism, but you won't comment on that either, will you? So why would that be, like, a massive issue? Why is it that you want to focus on this, the occasion, because it's black people on a white person? You don't give two fucks when it's the other way round. Ah, see, there we go. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, aren't we? That's not an issue for you. I mean, you call Black Lives Matter a fucking terrorist organisation for daring to, what, try and get fucking 
uh, some semblance of justice for people who are being fucking murdered by police officers. Oh, and all the terrorising, Kev. I mean, that is what terrorists do, isn't it? Oh, but it's okay then, because it's a white guy killing a black guy. It's ridiculous. Your hypocrisy is disgusting. Do you think all police officers are white, Kev? Is that what's going on here? As to some of the victim playing from the white folks that I've talked to about this, um, absolutely stunning. Glop. They've been going on about, um, uh, some of the conversations I've had, they've been going on about a, um... Oh, come on, Kev. You should always fabricate your stories before you start recording. Oh, yeah, the hate crime thing, right? They'll say, oh, well, if it was the other way around, we'd know for definitely it was a hate crime. They'd say it was a hate crime. Why aren't they saying it's a hate crime? Blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, that's probably part of the whole you can't be racist to white people thing again, isn't it? You know, you don't talk like you have any kind of mental disability, Kev, but actions do speak louder than words. Right. Hate crime charges have been brought against these individuals. Whether they get convicted or not, who fucking knows? <laughs> the justice system in America doesn't seem particularly great. Oh, and you really aren't happy about that, are you, Kev? You can't say shit because even your feeble little mind can see it was a hate crime, but you aren't happy about it, are you? All oh, those poor little kidnappers. But whatever. H hate crime fucking charges have been brought against them, so you can shut up. You can shut the fuck up with that nonsense now, okay? It's, it's, it's ridiculous bullshit. Oh, Kev, careful, mate. You almost had a burp then. You shouldn't have had that second help in a beef chow mein. And it's, it's an extension of this fucking, again, quote unquote, thinking, uh, that people go on about the white genocide and all this. I'm not saying everyone who thinks, a lot who made a point about the, the, um, Glop. the uh, hate crime thing, uh, are necessarily white genocide fucking arseholes right is it white genocide or fucking assholes kev pick one but it's an extension of that it's essentially one step away from that it's this necessity for for deeply insecure psychologically fragile individuals who are white on this occasion uh, to want to play the victim half the shit you advocate is about playing the victim you mayonnaise eating butterball it's really pathetic, especially when white people run the fucking world. I'm not so sure about that one. For instance, China's president is Chinese. Kind of amazing I had to say that, isn't it? You really aren't in a position where you can say like, oh, white people are really badly put upon because they're fucking not. They're just not. It, that's nonsense, okay? Oh, is that all you're going to say about that? No facts, no evidence, just say it and move on. Okay, so no one had faced violence or anything because of the colour of their skin, no? Even though this whole thing is about the racially motivated attack on a white guy. No? No, of course not. But send me a link to all of those institutions devoted to getting white people into academia, Kev. I'd like to see that, and so would my crippling debt. The fact that some fucking prick... Like, uh, who writes for fucking BuzzFeed? Oh, BuzzFeed made a video, or you, uh, uh, MTV made a video. Kev, I really need to talk to you about the advantages of planning what you're going to say before you say it. Saying, oh, some stuff that's racist against white people. And instantly your, I'm not politically correct, I don't think we should do language and tone policing goes out the window, RACIST! Well, when one side insists everyone lives by a certain set of rules and then breaks those rules, the other side take great pleasure in pointing that out. If you don't like that, Kev, stop imposing rules. And run your ass around the block, you fat cunt. No one should get out of breath from talking. You love it. You keep saying, let's not call people racist, let's not do this, let's not do that. The first chance you fuckers get, the first chance you get, MTV's the most racist, MTV's the new KKK. FYI, BLM are the new KKK, MTV's like CNN for the SJW POC. Oh, shit, I broke him. You're a fucking embarrassment, you people. What do you mean, you people? And people say, oh, well, you should stick up for these other white people. Why? Why the fuck should I stick up for those white people? Those white people are pricks. Except it's not standing up for white people, is it? It's standing up against racism, which, if I recall, Kev, you used to be all for. It's funny how you change your tune once the race is reversed, which means you aren't against racism, Kev. You're just a guilty white man. Not all white people, obviously. Again, before you start playing the fucking victim. Who are you arguing against, Kev? You're on your own, mate. It's embarrassing. Even the leaves on the wall behind you are hiding. They don't want anything to do with this, Kev. I think everyone here is waiting for you to either hulk out or argue yourself to sleep. And while we're here, what made you want to dress up as a beige Waldo that no one would ever have any trouble finding? 
Seriously, man, you only ever see a face like that on posters warning you about who lives in your neighbourhood. Right, there are plenty of people of all races who are dickheads. And I don't associate myself with those people. But there are plenty of people of all races who are fucking awesome, and I associate myself with those people. That's funny, because I associate you with dickheads. Just because I have the same amount of fucking melanin, or lack thereof, or whatever, in my fucking skin as you, is nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, most people feel like that, Kev. They don't fucking shout about it, though, or make videos about it. It seems kind of forced when you do that, kind of like you're going, look how accepting I am. You know, there should be a word for that. Something about signalling your virtues. The fact that your parents were both white and fucked and created you, in the same way that my parents were both white and fucked and created me, means nothing. It means your parents should have used a fucking condom. Glop. Another hypocrisy, another fucking bullshit piece of propaganda nonsense from these very same fucking idiots. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go on, let's have another one then. Would be the way in which they're focusing on the fact that this was a mentally disabled or mentally handicapped individual, right? Oh, uh, oh, oh, are we back to the kidnapping now? Oh, okay. But these people, I don't think, uh, can be given that fucking benefit of the doubt because these are the same fucking evil little pricks who have turned the words retard and autistic into insults. I can't imagine a time when they were compliments, Kev. Glop. These are people who, whoever they dislike, in, for whatever reason, in whatever way, oh, you're autistic, you're retarded, you're fucking this, you're that, you're an autist. And now you want to sit up here and go, oh, it's disgraceful they pick it on the disabled kid. You do that all the fucking time. Calling someone retarded isn't insulting retarded people, Kev. It's insulting the person. And that's still not the same as kidnapping someone and torturing them. Do you know, it amazes me how SJWs create such a broad spectrum of things to be offended by. I, I just don't know where they get the energy. You've turned autistic a fucking like an actual medical issue, into an insult. And you've turned practically everything into offensive behaviour, so I think you're doing more damage there, Kev. And now you want to step up and be like, oh, it's disgusting, it's a mentally handicapped bloke. Fuck you. No, fuck you, Kev. None of that means we can't feel anger that someone would torture a guy with special needs and stream it online. This outrage had the potential to unite people, Logan, but you saw it as an opportunity to further your own sordid little agenda in between bites of your sausage roll from Greg's that I know you are holding just outside of the frame. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. But anyway, yeah, like I say, right, there's... There's nothing else that needs to be said other than I feel genuinely sorry for the guy involved. I don't know if it, this is this is him being involved or related in the gang in some way or whether this was like an initiation thing where they had to go and like pick on a fucking dude. No, pretty sure it was a hate crime, Kev. I thought we were good on that. They were shouting fuck white people, remember? Or whatever. What happened to him was fucking disgusting and evil. I hope he's okay. I hope that he's able to move on with his life from this. Yeah, good. Good. Well done. You are a normal fucking human being. Well done. Anyone would have just assumed, but thanks for letting us know. I hope the people involved, the people who did this, go to prison. I don't give a fuck if they throw away the key, frankly. These people are fucking evil. I don't want them on the streets. They're fucking dangerous, horrible fucking arseholes, right? And they probably used the word retard as an insult at one point in their lives. So, you know, execute them, I guess. That's all that needs to be said. Awesome. Nice one then, Kev. Next time I'm out shopping, I'll pick you up a fucking spine. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, the key to being a good person is telling people just how good you are.